Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Good Friday, March the 30th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 54, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 10 through 20. And now join me in singing verse 5 of O Sacred Head. My days are few, O fail not with thine immortal power to hold me that I quail not in death's most fearful hour that I may fight befriended and see in my last strife to me thine arms extended upon the cross of life. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Save me, O oh God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Psalm 54, and please recite it with me. Save me, O oh God, by your name and judge me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, and oppressors seek my life. They have not set you before themselves. Behold, you are my helper, you sustain my soul. You shall reward evil to my enemies, cut them off in your truth. And I will freely sacrifice to you, I will praise your name, for it is good. For you have delivered me of all trouble, and my eyes have seen the ruin of my enemies. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Save me, O God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Chapter 1, beginning at verse 10. Concerning salvation, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry, inquiring about the person or time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the subsequent glory. It was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves but you in regard to the things that have now been announced to you through those who brought you good news by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourselves. Set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when it is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. For it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. If you invoke as Father, one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, Live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. 
You know that you were ransomed from the feudal ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. He was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sakes. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. We praise you for your goodness and truth, O God Most High. Sustain our souls and deliver us from all enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.